Let's take a look at Santiago, Chile, right at the foot of the Andes Mountains and the final stop of our South American trip. Almost all of the historical and important sites in Santiago are within walking distance of Plaza de las Armas, which is where we are now. Make sure to take a walk, especially in the morning because it gets really hot in the afternoon so you can see all the historical sites. In this heavily populated downtown area, you'll see a stark contrast between the new steel and glass skyscrapers and the old style classical architecture. Santiago has two of the most beautiful cathedrals I've seen in South America. They're within walking distance of each other, so make sure to stop at both the Church of San Francisco and the Cathedral of Santiago. The home of Chile's presidential palace, the Casa Moneda, is at the center of a major plaza, and you won't be able to miss it if you're taking your walking tour around downtown. From there you can walk north through Constitution Plaza and see plenty of banks, old justice buildings, and other classical architecture. There are tons of hidden historical gems, like this one which we think is one of the prettiest, the Ex Congreso Nacional. If you're looking to eat like a local, then head to the Mercado Central. Stay away from the restaurants in the middle of the market if you want more local food, and instead stick to the ring of restaurants surrounding the outside of the building. There are a few beautiful parks in Santiago, two of which we visited. Parque Forestal, which is right along the river, and then you can take a funicular or ascensor up the side to Parque Metropolitano, where you can see amazing views of the city at night and during the day. Patio Bella Vista is your headquarters in Santiago for nightlife, dining, and restaurants. It's the best area to see and be seen. Chileans have their own meal timing, so before dinner at around 9 or 10 o'clock, you might want to grab onces, which is their afternoon tea, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. We've been to a lot of artisan markets in South America, but the biggest, best, and highest quality market is clearly Los Dominicos. You can take the metro there on the red line. Most of the space is reserved for local artisans, but make sure to check out the revolving art exhibits as well. If you want to head up market in Santiago, then head to Las Condes. It's known as the Beverly Hills of Santiago. There's plenty of places to eat, shop, and drink, all the things you left home to get away from. Some of the restaurants on Nueva Costanera Street are truly spectacular and should at least be walked through. For a complete list of things to do and places to go in Santiago, head to the destination page on livingradically.com.